Hello wrestling fans and welcome to the inaugural episode and debut of Spike Wrestling Association, also known as SWA. Here we have Bland Fleming coming into the ring tonight. We will be going through the first round of a 16-man single elimination tournament to determine the very first SWA Internet Champion. Um, and all rules uh, for these matches are their 30-minute time limit. You can win by pin, submission, or knockout. Here we are. have uh, Trevor Darius coming into the ring. And uh, this is going to be pretty good. Uh, this tournament, all combatants are SWA staples. Uh, we will be having uh, some competitors uh, that we're trying to sign from other places all over the world. But here we go. Fleming uh, starting off with the knee to the face. And I'm, of course, am your commentator uh, for SWA, uh, Johnny Bones. And uh, we got a good, uh, good amount of pro wrestling for you uh, tonight. And this is, of course, presented by Fire Pro Wrestling World. And here we go. They lock up again. Fleming ducks Darius down with a punch to the gut. Fleming now gets him in a torture rack. A little too early for that, I think. But chopped by Darius. Forearmed by Fleming. Another knockdown by Fleming. And an arm drag by Darius. And short arm clothesline by Fleming down goes Darius. Darius, nice slam, and Fleming goes out to the floor. Now, there are no count outs in the uh, SWA style matches. Uh, like I said, the only way you can win is by pin, submission, or knockout. And a dirty poke to the eyes by Darius. And another knockdown. Into the corner goes Darius. Oh, Alvaretti and Fleming has a front face lock. Elbow to the back of the head down goes Darius. And a nice DDT by Fleming. Another knockdown by Fleming. Darius just can't seem to get out of the blocks here. Uh, he's got a couple moves together, but uh, nothing, nothing too consistent. And another knee to the face. And he's going for a cover. We have one. Oh, and only a one count says our referee, Mr. Judgment. Ooh, inside cradle by Darius. Not even a one count, though. Nice shoulder tackle by Fleming. And a Fred Chinlock. Yeah. Fleming setting him up. Power bomb. Will that be it? Oh, he's going right back with a rear chin lock. Will Darius tap here? Nope, not. He's got some more fight left in him, guys. Darius has Fleming up and a vertical suplex. Oh, let's see. Who's going to get the better of that one? Darius did. Don't want to strike with that man, folks. Into the corner, though. And vertical suplex by Darius Fleming out to the outside. Into the corner goes Fleming. Not too much. Getting out of there pretty quickly. Darius has him up. Oh! Looked like a modified uh, chin breaker there. Another poke to the eyes by Darius. And Fleming just punches him in the face and down he goes. Fleming from the top rope hits that splash into the back. What's he going to set him up for? Ooh! A double underhook suplex. Too bad Darius was in the ropes. Darius, another eye poke. Uh, they've they've got to get that under control. You can get disqualified here. Fleming's got Darius up again. Another power bomb. And here we go. See, the, here's the count. Will this be our first Five, knockout? Six. And a standing six count. There he's still in it. Double underhook again. Another suplex. Bridging pin. One, two, and that's got to be it. No! Darius getting that shoulder up at the last second. Oh, and come on, ref. You, you're, they're being a little, little leeway here, but that's a low blow. You've got to call it there. Come on, ref. You saw that. 
Darius now in control after that low blow. But Fleming comes back with a nice clothesline. Balls of steel, my friends. And a swinging networker, though, by Darius. And he's going to accept playing him in a figure four. Will Fleming tap out? Many titles have changed hands with that old, but Fleming does get out of the figure four. Off the ropes and another shoulder block by Fleming. Darius is down. Here we go. We're going to get the count. And a standing five count. Another shoulder tackle. Looking a little like John Cena there. And another poke to the eyes. That's they, they, They've got to start calling it. Vertical suplex. Down goes Fleming. Darius standing drop kick misses. But, oh, here we go. Don't want to get in a striking contest. We already said this. Another knockdown with this Fist of Fury. And the figure four on again. Will Fleming tap out this time? No, Fleming knocking down Darius with that punch to the gut again. Go behind German suplex with the bridge. One, two, will that be it? No, Darius says not yet. Not today, my friend. Ooh, forearm right to the jaw. That might have knocked him out. Uh, but instead of going for it, he's picking him up. What's he setting up for? He's got him up. Olympic slam. Will that be it? And that's it. Darius is knocked out. And Fleming is going to advance to the second round of our tournament to crown the very first SWA internet champion. Our next matchup has a couple big boys. We have Max Bert Bernard Bertnard, if I could speak, versus Mr. Cobra. comes Big Max. A grappling master. Affectionately known as Suplex Hurricane. But don't sleep on the man that's about to come to the ring, Mr. Cobra. He's got a lot of sneaky moves. Great Bishop here, gracing us with his with his presence. Fight. And they lock up. Oh, good form smash by Max. Oh, overhead suplex, fisherman style almost, and a fireman's carry. Down goes Mr. Cobra. Uh, that amateur uh, background coming into play here. Oh, punch to the gut by Mr. Cobra. And an overhead belly to belly suplex out of Max. Headlock takedown by Cobra. Oh, big forearm to the chin. And a scoop slam. Down goes Cobra. Up already. Into the ropes they go. And a shoulder tackle by Max. Max go behind. And a forearm right to the back of the neck. Cobra's got Max up though. Oh, he's delaying in a good vertical suplex. F action's fast and uh, heavy, folks. Scoop, slam, and out of the ring goes Mr. Cobra. Uh, back in almost as fast as he went out there. And a club to the back down goes Big Max. And chokehold down. Down goes uh, Max. Well, we told you earlier, folks. Mr. Cobra is not shy of uh, not straight up bending the rules, but breaking them. But we have an Anaconda Vice here. Mr. Cobra in it. Oh, fighting out of that. And our headlock takedown for Mr. Cobra. He can wrestle too. He, he, can, uh, he can grapple with the best of them. But into the corner he goes. Here comes Big Max. Jumping knee. And another form of the jaw. Down goes Cobra. Is this the opening Max is needing? Looks like he's getting a lot of momentum, but Cobra's got that front face lock. Bring him to the center of the ring. Over to the back of the neck, down he goes. They're back up. And a big...
big power bomb into a pin for Max. And not yet. That was close, folks. And oh, and they're. Are we just not gonna call that anymore? A straight low blow in front of the ref. And Mr. Cobra's on the advantage. Couple swinging net breakers there. But a big world strongest slam by Max. The suplex hurricane. Oh, good lady was going for a suplex, but no, back elbow into a tackle and another blatant choke. Uh, I don't know if he's got a nerve or if, that, if that's a choke. That, that, uh, from here, that looks like it's a blatant choke. Oh. Another club to the back down goes Max. Mr. Cobra in firm control here. Stomp to the back of the head. Go behind by Max. German suplex release. And Mr. Cobra, knowing that he was... Max was going for that knockout, was able to take some time uh, to recover there, and it definitely helped. Was in no danger there of being knocked out, but, oh, nice. Perfect elevation on that release backdrop suplex. What's he doing? He's biting him. Get him off him, ref. He's biting him. And there you can see the results of that. Uh... Didn't just break skin, probably broke a layer of skin there. Max now, uh, having the proverbial crimson mask now. You can see the blood all over the mat. And now Mr. Cobra again has him up there. That's going to do even more damage with that open wound. Uh, that delays that. And another low blow. And a chokehold. Standing choke, got him down. Is that going to be it? Uh, that's got to be a nerve hold because you would think the ref would break uh, the hold if it was a blatant choke there. Well, Cobra now throws Max right out of the ring. And uh, both men now uh, trying to get some breath back into their lungs. Good knee to the chest by Mr. Cobra. Forearm by Max. Forearm by Cobra. Forearm by Max. Cobra. Max. Cobra. Who's going to get the better of this exchange? Tackle by Max. Cobra's up. Tackle by him. And they are both down. Cobra's up first. Ref going to go count. But Max, I don't think, is in any serious danger. Just trying to get his uh, get the cobwebs loose a little there. But Cobra back on him. Fast from behind. Counter by Max with the back elbow. Max setting him up again. Power bomb into the pin. One. Two. Is that it? No. Cobra says not yet. Cobra from behind though. Nice back suplex. Cobra setting him up and oh right on his head. Spiked him with that pile driver. Two, three, four, five. Will it be it? Max trying to get to his feet. He's up, but is he is he fully aware and a standing nine count. As close as you're gonna get, folks. Power bomb again. Pin one, two, and no. Cobra says no. Cobra with Max and Rose. They go across and a big boot to the chest. And is he is he out here reading Max's last rights? What's he doing there? Drop kick, standing drop kick. Both men down. What are these guys gonna have left for the second round? Chokehold and. And they're calling it that it is, is that a disqualification or no no they're saying that uh mr cobra won i guess it wasn't that that must be a nerve hold or something uh but cobra just yeah cobra claw just made max submit and mr cobra will advance to the second round our next match is gonna be a good one it's red dragon against dag boomer Red Dragon, one of the fan favorites here, and Dag Boomer, uh, well, complete opposite of that. People can't stand him. Uh, they respect his ability, but his attitude is uh, definitely to be questioned. But here comes the Red Dragon, the strongest Red Dragon. Here he comes, Dag Boomer. Big Dag Boomer. 
the Yellow Devil himself. And folks, we're not talking about the Mega Man Yellow Devil. We're talking about the Yellow Devil of SWA. Dag Boom already with those clubbing shots to Red Dragon and now a headbutt knocking him down repeatedly. Dragon's not going to want to get in a slugging contest with Dag. Dag will, uh, Dag will knock him out pretty quick. And that big gorilla press slam getting him out of the ring, but Dragon's in as fast as he went out. A couple kicks and a chop not doing much to Dag, but that neither the stomach will. And a snapmare. Dag's right up again, though. Tie up, and Dag's in a headlock. Oh, man. Red Dragon catching him uh, catching him with technique. And, oh, you look at the strength of that backbreaker. Being able to pick that man up. And a slam. Red's been hitting the gym, I guess. And other ropes goes Red. Back body drop. Dag now in control, but Red, Red sent him up. Oh my god, he got him over with a vertical suplex. And Dag with the big, roll strong slam. Oh, couple jabs, couple jabs, couple jabs, couple overhooks, and there you go. A couple, few jabs, few, few left hooks, and now went Dag, but Dag's back up. He's got a, he's got a chin made of granite. Not yet with that Cobra, uh, that camel clutch there. Right hand by Dag on the hand, but oh, Red with the headbutt. Roundhouse kick to the face. No effect, short arm clothesline, down goes Red Dragon. And more clubbing blows by Dag Boomer. Red Dragon has to be seeing stars at this point. Big elbow drop to the back and the shoulder blades. Another world's strongest slam. How much can Red Dragon's back take at this point? He's already picked up Dag. And we're going for a cover one, two, and Dag's moving. Oh, not yet. Another vertical suplex by Red Dragon, but his back's got to be killing him with the punishment and the amount of times he's been lifting up Dag Boomer. Hey, big headbutt down goes Dag Boomer. Red Dragon running across the ropes. Big Superman punch. Going for the cover, tricking the far leg, and a two count. Another world's strongest slam by Dag Boomer. Big three-point stance, tackle down goes Red Dragon. Uh, don't you don't want to do this, Red? You don't want to trade with the big man. Oh, he's got something. Oh, big headbutt. Tags up with a big clothesline, and both of them are down. But Red's the one who's not getting up first, and. Not fully out, taking advantage of that 10 count. And another world strongest slam. He is just trying to destroy his back. But Red, Red's going for a suplex. Couldn't get him that time. It's his back. Dad counters with a vertical suplex of his own. And oh my god, the big man's going up to the top rope. Big splash, but he misses. This is the opening Red Dragon's been looking for. From behind, big right hand. And a miss with the standing drop kick. Dag Boomer's got Red Dragon. A big power bomb. That's got to be it. Three, four, five, six. And we got a standing six count. Big forearm to the jaw. Boomer to the ropes. Big splash. Cover. Two and no. Red Dragon not out of it yet. Big backbreaker, he still has the strength to do that. Big headbutt, down goes Dag Boomer. Dag Boomer though has red, oh, Red Dragon powerbomb into a pin, one, two, and that is it. Dag Boomer will advance to the second round with a big victory over a very ferocious and very feisty Red Dragon. Moving on to our next first round matchup, you'll see BB Bobby Bobby taking on Edward Joseph. Here 
comes the always energetic, the always exciting, the always electrifying speedy man of SWA, BB, Bobby Bobby. Edward Joseph out of London, England. With that scowl he's known to give the fans and anybody else that crosses his path. He is ready to stretch out BB and make it a quick night. That's what he was saying earlier in the pre show. But BB, I don't think, uh, you know, got the memo on that. But he's got him up already. Tiger Bomb! Oh, almost. Joseph had BB with the Tiger Bomb already. Caught him off guard, but BB's back up, ready? Ooh. Big slam by Joseph. Nice elbow to the knee. That's very smart wrestling by uh, Edward Joseph here. Keep BB grounded. Don't let him use his speed. Nice takedown. Scoop and a slam. Out of the ring goes Edward Joseph. Uh, BB's not, not done yet. Got hit with that Tiger Bomb pretty early, but seems like he's uh, been able to recover off of that. But uh, Edward Joseph, a lot of high impact moves up out of the gate. And a slam now for BB. BB is a curry. Down goes Joseph. Joseph in the corner. Now, BB in the corner. BB's got Joseph set. Power bomb. Flipping pin. Not even a one. And a big slam for BB. BB set. Joseph up snap suplex. Shades of the dynamite kid. And a big slam. Down goes BB. Edward Joseph. Not definitely not out of it. Have a European uppercut. Kick to the sword plastic. Uppercut. Kick. Uppercut. Kick. Who's gonna give here? Down goes BB with that European uppercut. And another one. Inzaguri, another one. You think Joseph had that one scouted by then? Guillotine leg drop off the top rope to the back and the shoulder blades. Getting him away from the ropes. You gonna go for a cover? No, you're just gonna pick him back up. Nice overhead throw. Joseph's got, oh, Joseph was probably thinking about our suplex. Oh, but now he is again. Vertical suplex out of the ring goes BB. But Joseph's down. And a good forearm off the counter. And down goes BB. Reverse arm breaker now. Will BB submit? You know, that British style, very... Very much a catch as catch can style. Uh, very much uh, submission, but off there, and that's the Dudley dog shades of Spike Dudley. Hurricane Rana. This is BB's chance, and a guillotine leg drop across the chest. He's gonna do it again? Yes, two for the price of one. Let's go. And instead of going for the cover, going for the knockout. Maybe not the wisest choice there. Uh, gave Joseph uh, not just time to get up, but gave him a uh, time to recover and uh, recoup. And ooh, you're a Nagi overhead throw. What's he setting him up for? Missed the knee. Came back with the back kick. But arm breaker and a dragon twist on that arm, and then driving it down to the mat, missing the standing uh, shotgun no. drop kick. Big slam though, down goes BB. Low drop kick to the knee. BB's got him. Pile driver, no! Back body drop reversal by Joseph. Joseph now thrown outside. Remember, there are no count outs. So, doing that, you're sort of uh, gonna risk not just 
you know, you want to get some recovery time, but you know your opponent's going to get some as well. Go behind by Joseph. Counter by BB to a jawbreaker. Will that be it? And we have a standing five count. Oh, you're an Augie throw. Down goes BB. BB's up, though. Joseph into the corner. And hung up now on the tree of woe. A couple kicks to the abdomen. And another Uranagi throw by Joseph on the BB. Back elbow. Joseph's. Nope. And Joseph's the one who gets the leverage. Vertical suplex both men down. But BB's first one up. But he looks like he can't barely stand. And they're both now up. BB setting up. Joseph power bomb. Jackknife flip over pin one. Two. Oh, Joseph. The resiliency and another jawbreaker. Down goes Joseph. BB up to the top rope. Guillotine leg drop. Alabama jam style. And that did it. That did it. Bobby Bobby BB will advance to the second round of the SWA Internet Champion Tournament. Game. A very game Edward Joseph there. But BB uh, a little too fast for him there it seems. Here we go, our next match in the first round of the tournament. We'll see a couple big men here. The first one being King Sumo himself. Fuji Akatsuki. Better known as King Sumo. And a fan favorite to SWA fans all around the world the Sarge Sergeant Steel Johnson now I don't think we're gonna see too many topes or dives off the top rope or anything crazy outside these two are just gonna smash mouth beat the living hell out of each other oh nice drop toll hold down goes King Sumo and a had, had a lock takedown down when Steel Johnson. The Sarge down now with a forearm by King Sumo. And a snapmare by uh, the Sarge. They tie up and... Ooh, it looked like uh, King Sumo was going for a uh, headlock takedown. Sarge got him over with that uh, almost of a Northern Light suplex. But he's got a claw. King Sumo's got a claw on the Sarge. Uh, won't tap out yet. That right hand. Nice headlock takedown by Sarge. Outside goes King Sumo. Back in though. Nice headlock takedown and holds on to it. That's that was the key there. He held on. And a big slam to Sarge, and Sarge is now the one on the outside coming back in. Sergeant Steel Johnson. There, another big slam. Headlock takedown. Now Sarge holds it. Big knee to the chest. Down goes Sarge. King Sumo in control for the time being. The front face lock. Bring him over to the corner. Elbow to the back. Down he goes. Sergeant Steel Johnson. Oh my god. He just vertical suplexed the big man out of the ring. Well, they're both big men, but I guess the bigger man. And in our headlock takedown, uh, King Sumo not uh, not gonna tap yet. But what's this? Uh, great binding the leg into a side headlock. There. To go going to the ropes and a big back elbow by King Sumo. Neither the chest down goes Sarge. And a big slam by King Sumo. Sarge now. Can't take too many of those. Big chop by King Sumo. Right hand by Sarge. Chop. Right hand. Chop. Right hand. Chop. And down goes Sarge. Big headbutt though. Down went King Sumo. Up again. Another headlock takedown. Duh. 
King Sumo, big belly to belly suplex. Down goes the Sarge. And into the ropes. Who missed the back elbow? Big slam, and down goes King Sumo. And a pin. And only a one count. Uh, shows just how much fight uh, both these men have left in the tank. Uh, they, might be, they both might be uh, a couple of our bigger competitors, but these guys can go. And Sarge has those up. Oh my god, spike pile driver. Elbow to the leg, now getting a, a knee, modified knee bar. It seems a side, side version of a, of, a, of a knee lock. Big head, but down goes Sumo. Sarge up top. Oh my god, big splash. I said you might not see it, but uh, you know, it looks like I was wrong there. These guys are going to give everything they have and more. Oh my gosh. He went from one corner to the other with those chops all the way. Sumo now in control. Those sumo style chops and a full Boston Crab. Not just as he pulling back on the back, but now Sarge has to carry his weight. But that tremendous leg strength getting uh, Sumo off him into the ropes. They go. Nothing happening there, but Sumo with a big double leg takedown. And there we go. I think he's setting up for something big. Big claw. He's got that uh, big almost Von Erich style claw and whoa whoa what was he was I don't know if that was a Von Erich style claw it looks like maybe he was using his fingernails to just drive him into the Sarge's head because Sarge is a uh, Sarge now has that crimson mask he's a uh, busted open he's busted open pretty good yeah he went up top the second of it but there you go the hesitation leads to the big belly to belly suplex Two, three, four. And a standing four count, but how much does the Sarge have left? He's losing blood by the second. His uh, energy's got to be just almost that empty at this point. But he's back up there. He's trying to return the favor. He wants to bust up King Sumo. He wants him to see his own blood. There you go, Sarge bringing him back. Trying to get him away from those ropes in the center of the ring. Down he goes. Now from behind. And he's got, looks like a shoulder hold or a nerve hold. Um, don't really know what he was looking for there. But a big slam by the Sarge. He's going back up top. And a big splash, but again, he's right. Sumo's right in the ropes. Um. Running Bulldog, though. Will this be it? Sarge, bloody mess. Look at him. You can see it all over the mat as well. And he's got that claw. He's got that claw right in the open wound. Sumo again with those sumo-style chops. Signaling he's going... Oh, my God. He's going up top. He's up top. Big splash. But Sarge, just like Sumo was in the ropes already. So not even an opportunity to get a pin there. Out of the ring now goes King Sumo. Back in the ring he comes. Here we go. Sumo's got that front face lock and an elbow to the back of the neck. Getting the Sarge up. What? Oh, Sarge whipping him into the corner now. Big drop kick. Sumo now looking a little dazed. German suplex, but he's in the ropes. What is this? A claw style slam. A, almost a version of a choke slam, but instead of going around the throat, he, he clawed his face. And this is the momentum Sarge needs, but he needs to end it now. Momentum can do a great thing. Adrenaline can do a great thing to get him recovered. But it's also that blood is going to be flowing out more than it would normally. He's got to end this now. Big drop kick. Another front face lock. Elbow to the back. Down goes Sumo. Sarge getting him up. And Sumo gets him. Belly belly suplex once again. And he's going to... 
catch his breath. Sarge trying to get up. The blood just keeps flowing, but he's up. He's up, but a standing eight count. Sumo's got Sarge up. Power bomb. And again, he's not gonna let go. And triple power bomb. And and that's it. They're calling it. Yep. Referee stoppage by knockout. What a match, but King Sumo advances to the second round. Uh, Sergeant Steel Johnson, nothing to be ashamed of. Hell of a fight, uh, but that, that wound definitely did, uh, did him in. But on from that, we will now move on to our next first round match. Lawrence Holland, ringside thunder coming to the ring. Very strong MMA style background. Deadly strikes, great grappling. All overall, Holland is amazing. But take nothing away from his opponent here tonight. Dai Fuego, the Japanese millionaire. Holland and Fuego here in our first round of our SWA Internet Championship Tournament. Big kick already by Holland. But Fuego, nice slam. Chop by Fuego. Holland going for a leg kick missing there, but all oh, big forearm to the jaw. Like we said earlier, he, he's He's amazing overall, is uh, Holland, but uh, his the weakest part of his game uh, would would be his grappling. So I think Fuego, as long as he doesn't get in a striking contest, he, he's got a good chance here. Yeah, keep keep it simple, grapple him, keep him on the ground, put him in positions where he can't get those strikes off. But even from the ground, uh, Holland will uh, Holland will surprise you. So they tie up here, chop. Don't you don't want to do that? Look at that. Responds with a perfect kick right to the chest. And a headlock now. And a big right hand by Holland on the Fuego. Holland into the corner. Di Fuego though. Oh, Holland's got him in out of the ring. Goes Di Fuego. The Japanese millionaire. Hoping to win the whole tournament and maybe he'll become the Japanese billionaire. They lock up again into the ropes goes Fuego. Big knee to the stomach by Holland. And a slam down goes Holland though. Chokehold, lifting him up, dropping him down. And coming over with uh, almost like a reverse arm bar into like a, a reverse back neck lock. Big kick to the stomach. Into the ropes they go again. Down goes Fuego. I he did not do that intentionally. Instinctively, when he whipped Holland into the ropes, he went to run into the ropes, knocked our referee down. Uh, looks like they went face to face, and uh, our referee, Mr. Judgment, he's the one who got the worst of that matter because he he's now seeing the crimson mask. Uh, but uh, our referees here, they're they're tougher than any other uh, in the world. They don't they don't quit. They don't give up. Uh, little blood ain't gonna scare him. He's gonna stay out here and do his job. He's gonna do what he's paid for. You know, with that said, uh, in all honesty, the, our referees are tougher than a lot of guys' main star wrestlers. Uh, just gonna throw that out there. Big slam down goes Di Fuego. Holland now in control. Has a, uh, an arm breaker, or almost an arm breaker with the scissors over the head but Fuego able to fight out of it into the corner he goes though Holland in control Fuego got him up though and a gut buster and now Di Fuego is the one in control and a sleeper now we we, we praised Holland's ability is his MMA type ability but 
like I said, not to discredit Di Fuego at all. He he can wrestle with the best of them. He has plenty of submissions uh, in his own arsenal. But a big reverse back kick to the face. One, two, and Fuego is oh, he's not done yet. And a full Boston Crab though now by Di Fuego. Gorilla pressed by Di Fuego. Down goes Holland. Holland though, big forearm. Front face lock into the knee to the cup. And a stomp. Putting moves together, that's what you gotta do. But then Di Fuego seems to have an answer. He uh, responded immediately. Uh, during that flurry of moves with that slam to the outside. Uh, if nothing less, just to, just to have a break in that momentum shift. And into the corner goes Holland Daifuego running clothesline. And a modified camel clutch there. Will, will Holland submit here? Not yet. Be able to break out of it. Big clothesline though, down goes Holland. <laughs> Fuego feeling it now, and a big clothesline to the back of the head. What's he think here? Back elbow though, Holland's not out of it yet, but World Strongest Slam. Down goes Holland, and Fuego's down as well. Holland's a first. Arm ringer, and another big side kick to the face. Elbow uh, to that hamstring area, now ripping at that knee on the side. Fuego's got Holland with a fa front face lock. Big back elbow. Big discus lariat and down goes Holland. And we will have a standing four count here. Headlock takeover. Judo throw style. Down goes Fuego. Holland up top and elbow misses. This is, the, this is what Fuego needs. This is the opportunity. Don't waste it. Into the ropes goes Fuego, clothesline, and he blew it. Big kick there. Holland now has the momentum. Couple knees, three knees there right to the stomach. And Moore is going to do it again. That abdomen area has got to be hurting. And a big kick to the face. How can Fuego even stand at this point? Not just how can he stand, how can he do Brain Buster? How can he deliver moves like that after getting kicked in the face? Big Brain Buster. Fuego up top, waiting for Holland. Clothesline off the top rope. Going back up now. And big splash into the back of Holland. And we're going to count, but Holland's got enough. Holland's going to milk this. Smart move. Get get some energy back, but don't don't let Fuego get as much too. Big kick, though, out of the corner comes Fuego. Down goes Holland again. Into the ropes comes Ty, Ty Fuego. Big clothesline. Pin. One. Two. Fuego's going to advance. No, not yet. Holland uh, still in this match, guys. And they chop for chop now. Chop for chop. Who's going to get the better? Here comes Big Inzaguri by Holland. And Fuego is down. Standing five count. But Fuego's got him up. Fuego's got him up. Another brain buster. That's got to be it. Picking him up though, not going for the pin. Oh my god! Fuego picked him up like a slam, dropped him around his head, DDT style. Now on the back, back suplex, bridging with the pin. One, two, and oh my god, Fuego kicked out. How did he kick out? Big clothesline, and down goes Holland again, going for the cover. Oh my god, and another one. These guys are. Using every bit of that two count. Down goes Holland. Fuego's posing on him. I think he's he's get he's setting up for something. No! Oh my god. Holland got up and just laid Fuego out. That's a standing six count though. Big kick to the face again. From behind, back elbow getting out of that one. Chopped by Fuego. Oh, Baldo Bomb! Two, that's gonna be it! Oh, Holland with the resilience getting out at the last second. Into the ropes. PK! Into the ropes again. Is he gonna do another one? Another PK! 
by Holland on Fuego. Fuego, though, Baldo bomb yet again. That's got to be it. Two and no. And ha Fuego with the frustration, throwing Holland right out of the ring. These guys are spent. They're showing just how much this means to them both. And another brain buster. Down goes Holland. And he's not moving. That's going to be it. That will be it. Die Fuego will advance with the referee stoppage. The KO from the brain buster.